only one patch from Adobe and a pretty small release from Microsoft too, but we do have an active O-Day. Let's talk about it in the patch report. Hello everyone, I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at the Zero Day Initiative and our Chief Patch Wrangler. We've got a small release to talk about, so let's get straight to it. We only have one patch to talk about from Adobe, but it all comes from Matt Powell, who's a vulnerability researcher here at ZDI. 14 bugs in total, uh, open and own sort of thing, so definitely a priority of three, but if you're running Substance 3D Painter, uh, go ahead and take care of that. Microsoft also has a really small release, 38 patches for this month. Uh, plus uh, 38 new ones today, I should say, plus 11 in Edge, uh, Chromium-based, that were previously patched, so total of 49 from May. Um, we've got one that's under active attack right now, and that's the Win32K EOP, uh, CVE 2023-29336. Uh, this came in through Avast, which probably means that it was found in a malware attack. Uh, Microsoft doesn't say exactly how widespread it is, but most likely targeted at this point. And this is the sort of thing that usually gets paired with a remote code execution bug uh, to spread malware. Definitely patch, it's under active attack. This one to me, however, is a little bit more interesting. 2023-29325, uh, it's in Windows OLE. However, think of this as being in Outlook because that's where it's really gonna come into play because the preview pane is an exploit vector here. So you could send a specially crafted email, RTF email, and as soon as it hits the preview pane, Get code execution, which is pretty cool. So definitely look out for that one. Up next, we've got an NFS bug. This is really, really cool as well. The CVSS of 9.8 on this one, remote authenticate attacker could run arbitrary code on an affected system with elevated privileges. If you count those things up, yikes, that sounds wormable, uh, at least on systems where you have NFS. Now what's interesting is Microsoft states that this is in NFS 4.1. So you could technically downgrade to 2.0 or 3.0 However, comma, you need this patch from last year, from May of 2022 installed to actually be protected from that. Better idea is to just test and deploy this patch and, and get it out there. Coming up next is a Microsoft SharePoint bug. This is 2023-24955. This was actually demonstrated at Pwn to Own Vancouver a couple months ago and is now being fixed. It's one of four SharePoint bugs getting fixed this month. Uh, however, uh, this is not the complete chain that was used. Uh, this particular bug does require authentication, but of course the, the actual exploit chain they used at the contest included an auth bypass. That auth bypass is yet to be addressed. So hopefully we'll see those fixes coming up in the coming months. Moving on to our table, it's a relatively small table today. Uh, we do have a one uh, other publicly known bug in the secure, uh, secure boot feature, uh, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. But with the other critical bugs, there's nothing too extraordinary there. Um, you can, you'll see there's, there's just not a whole lot going on in this month. So let's just jump straight to the security feature bypass uh, because it is in secure boot. So you do require physical access for an attacker to actually be able to use this. Uh, but I mean, secure boot is specifically designed for physical attacks. Uh, Microsoft doesn't provide information on where this is public. However, they do provide a bunch of additional guidance uh, on the config changes you'll need to make once you install this new patch. So definitely take a look at that. Uh, we've got some information disclosure bugs, none of whom are that interesting. I want to point out actually a re-release because I was very surprised to see it. Uh, so this CVE 2022-26928 uh, was re-released today to add all affected versions of Microsoft Windows, new packages for all affected versions of Microsoft Windows. Um, so that I, I don't know why Microsoft uh, chose to re-release this, but it sounds like an incomplete patch or an incomplete fix of some sort. Uh, regardless, make sure that you don't miss the, uh, the re-release of this patch. So definitely take a look at that. And that's pretty much it for the entire release. And like I said, it's a really small release historically small. In fact, I haven't seen a release this small since at least 2021. So there is that uh, just to take, keep in mind. And uh, hey, I'll take a small release any day of the week. Anyway, our next Patch Tuesday will be on June 13th. And of course, we will return then with all of uh, our latest analysis. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe. 
I'm contractually obligated on YouTube to say that if you like this content. And uh, until then, stay safe, happy patching, and may all your reboots be smooth and clean.